Coach Brad Laird, the first day of spring practice is in the books. So what were your impressions? Well, it's good to be out there. You know, what, what these young men have gone through since uh, we got back in January, uh, to, to be able to go out and, and execute in all three phases. And, you know, the thing that, that we did is, is we went somewhere fast. We weren't always going in the right direction, and that's what these 15 days are for. But uh, the 93 guys that, that we had out there, I tell you, they competed. And uh, they, uh, they showed a lot of promise in day one. They showed, uh, uh, you know, the opportunity that they see to go out and compete. Uh, now we got to, you know, continue over the next 14 practices to kind of hone in on the things that we got to get better at. But, you know, as far as going out and compete and have a great attitude, uh, you know, we, we saw that day one. Your team has uh, a lot of experience back, but you've got some holes to fill. Um, those battles will be fought throughout the 15 days, I guess. Yeah, and, and you saw that today. You, you saw guys that felt very comfortable in what they were doing. You saw guys that didn't quite have the, the on the field experience, the game experience, that, that are continuing to try to learn. Uh, one position that, that, that I think about is wide receiver. When you lose four guys and 23 plus touchdowns and over 2,700 yards, you know, we're still going to throw the football, so we got to have somebody to throw it to. So you saw, you saw those guys uh, continue to compete and, and, and understand that, that they're competing for a job. Um, you know, tight end is another area that we lost two seniors that, uh, you know, trying to get, get some guys ready to play. But you saw those, the competition come out in the guys, and that's what excites you as a coach moving forward is, is each and every day they're coming out to compete to try to be the best that they can be that, that day, and that's what we saw day one. You're here tonight in Shreveport for the National Football Foundation McNaughton Chapter Scholar Athlete Banquet. Um, you cut your involvement in practice a little bit short at the end so you could get up here. Why? What a great event. I mean, this is something that I had the opportunity when I was a student athlete at Ruston High to be involved in to, uh, you know, as I've moved forward in the profession to see young men. Uh, there were eight young men today that, I um, mean, you look at what they did on the field, you look what they did off the field, are guys that at Northwestern State that, that we want part of the program, but, but how they excelled uh, in their four years at the high, their respective high schools and where they're going to be in the future, it's, it's great for North Louisiana. Uh, I've always said, I mean, the, the coaches and what they do here, not just the X's and O's, but, but where these young men are off the field is what excites me to come back year in and year out to see those that, uh, that are nominated and awarded uh, with this foundation scholarship and, and to watch as they continue to grow as they move forward in, in, in the future.